Welcome back to Man Kitchen. Today, I have something special in store for you. It's my own recipe. I can actually call this my own recipe. I looked online, there's nothing like it. It's just mine. It's Man Kitchen style. So, please join me, Trevor Jones, on an adventure of bacon and Guinness. So, if you like my t-shirt, leave a comment or a like on my YouTube channel. Check it out. It's about six pack. Eat. This recipe should only take about half an hour. There's no baking required other than some melting of chocolate. That's it. So, you know how I like to get started is to go through the ingredients. What you're going to need is three quarters of a cup of shortbread cookies, uh, chopped up real fine. And next, a quarter cup of confectionery sugar, or just like, you know, powdered white sugar. And then my combining agent is a tablespoon of pure Canadian maple syrup. You're going to need two tablespoons of cocoa powder and three tablespoons of Guinness. Now I've tried to put more Guinness into the balls, but it didn't work out. It, got, it was too much. So I, I had to settle for three tablespoons. I know, I know, I'm sad too. I'm sad too, it's okay. What you're gonna need is about four pieces of crispy, nice bacon. And then cut some up into small pieces and then leave some for a garnish. You'll see what I do with that later. So the last ingredient what you're gonna need is a cup of dark chocolate. Add all the dry ingredients first. Sugar two tablespoons of cocoa. Now your combining agent of maple syrup. Oh, yeah. That sounds nice. And I'm just gonna add in three tablespoons of Guinness. There we go. This recipe is so hard, I think I uh, deserve a little break. It is so good. My chef's cup. Alright, let's go on. All you have to do is just mix it up. I'm just gonna take my tablespoon. When it's all mixed, it's gonna look like that. Nice and dark and chocolatey. Alright, so now we're gonna make it into balls. So what you wanna do is take a little bit of this, I guess you call it like batter or chocolatey. Guinness. Flatten it out a little bit. Take some delicious bacon. Put it in the center and just fold it. And make a ball. Look at that. Perfect. Now we're gonna take our balls. Look at those. Pop this into the freezer. Should have made some room. Almost time to take the balls out of the freezer, but before I do, I'm gonna start with my chocolate. And this is a double boiler, they call it. Or you can use a microwave as well. But I don't own one. So that's the way I do it. Give a little bit of professionalism to these, you know, man kitchen balls. I'm gonna put in a little bit of oil in the chocolate, and that's gonna give it a nice shine, a sheen to the chocolate instead of a doll look. That's my little tip of the day. How's that? Now turn the oven on medium high heat and you're gonna have to stir the chocolate around a bit. The chocolate's all ready to go. It's all nice and melted. It's time to take the balls out of the freezer. They should be nice and firm now. There we are. Now what I'm gonna do is take my chocolate balls with bacon inside them and dunk these ones in chocolate. Use a fork, roll the chocolate ball around until it's fully coated, and put it on a new plate with saran wrap. And it should just fall off like that. Before the chocolate dries, I'm gonna put on my little garnish, a nice little piece of crispy bacon. Check that out. That's hot, eh? I think so. Alright, 
and then just proceed and keep doing the same thing to the rest of it. Final product, my Guinness bacon balls, or you could just have Guinness balls, it's up to you, but you gotta be a little adventurous once in a while and try new things. So get on that bacon, everyone loves bacon. Check this out, little pieces of bacon in there. Mmm, so soft in the middle. With that candy chocolate shell. Crisp, salty bacon. Oh, and the Guinness, that is some nice chocolate. Man kitchen balls. Yeah, you heard it, man kitchen balls. Please subscribe. Thanks guys. I hope you like my t-shirt as well. Six pack. Trevor Jones's chocolate balls. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, 